So hi guys, it's Kako from Kakamoto. And today we're just gonna go home. Uh, had quite of a tiring day. Uh, went to school early because we had a lot to study for conflicts of law, transpo, and labor. But thankfully, um, at first I thought I'd be in school from 2 o'clock to around 9 o'clock, but thankfully that wasn't to be the case. Um, in the middle of the day, we got an announcement that our 8 to 9, uh, 7 to 9, 7 to 8, is it? 7 to 8 class was given out as a free cut uh, for labor, so my last class was 5 to 7. And the 5 to 7 class, uh, Attorney June, you are the best. It's given voluntary resets. Now, for those who don't know what voluntary reset means, is in law school, uh, you have three components usually to your grade your midterms, your finals, and your recitation. And when you're talking recitation, that's one third of your grade, and you probably get called maybe twice or thrice a SEM per uh, class. And basically, those times you are called, that's basically the entirety of the component of your recitation. So when it's given as a voluntary recit, that means you have like a few minutes to prepare. When you have those minutes to prepare for a recit, it can make all the difference between a good recit, a decent recit, or a bad recit. So forever going to be thankful for Tony June uh, Pilaras for giving voluntary recits for today. Uh, it took a lot of the stress out of the day, so... Yeah, so now we're just on the way home and so far traffic's been relatively light thankfully and can't complain. Just pop in neutral, relax a bit. Ah. So yeah, law school can be tiring. Um, I've been here since around 8.30 in the morning. So just imagine 8.30 to 2 o'clock, all you're doing is reading cases and you're juggling three different subjects. So I was reading uh, the labor code, I was reading the trans special laws in transportation, I was reading cases in transportation, and I was reading cases for conflicts of law plus the codal provisions, the basically the law itself for conflict. So yeah, but you know, it's all worth it because um, Sometimes you just really want to be lawyers and today was the bar results day and thankfully Ateneo did I think 99.4% passing rate which is I think the highest we've ever gotten um, as close to everyone passes that makes no difference then it's a really big deal when you compare it to the past years that we've been around the 80% mark 70% mark um, we've even had a really bad year where we were down to like 50% so 55% um, the fact that Ateneo was able to do 99% this year is just uh, vindication for Dean Kande that what he's doing is working and just everyone in law school was happy so there was rejoicing all around in fact, Dean Kande was nice enough to give us all donuts for all the classrooms. So it's just a really feel good day. And the problem with the bar results coming out is if you're a law student, you just you just have a hard time studying in bar results today because you're so focused on the results and you're, you think about your friends who are taking put up the bar and you're hoping they pass. And not just that, you're also thinking about how it's going to be when you take the bar. And at the end of the day, it's all about passing it forward. I mean, a lot of us are members of uh, bar operations, and that means basically when students come together and make reviewers and help the bar takers for the year do better. So as undergrads, it's the, one of the more important things that we do. And we do take pride in it. And those who are really so sorely invested in the bar operations, they're the ones who are most affected and the most uh, and the happiest when it comes time for bar results, especially with results this good. So. Kudos to the Bar Ops team. It's been amazing. Uh, good job for everyone involved. And yeah, uh, long day at school. Uh, generally okay. Uh, relatively stressful. Became relatively stress-free almost instantly. So yeah, good day. Also, the weather turned a little bit okay. It was raining a bit, so right now it's kind of cool, not too hot. Um, 
chill ride. I mean, still, with wearing a jacket, it's still kind of warm. But other than that, it's not terrible. So, generally a good day to ride a bike. Generally a good day. So, there you go. That's my day for May 3, is it? I'm not actually sure. Yes, it's May 3. So, that's been my day in May 3. It's Kako from Kakomoto. Ride safe and I'll see you soon.